Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to Go Indian Yoga and this summer solstice, solstice practice where we're going to reground you, get you ready to put out fires that may be going on this summer. We're going to strengthen your liver and gallbladder meridians, your heart and small intestines, and also your spleen and stomach. So you're ready to take on anything this summer. In fact, the affirmation that I am offering you for today's practice is I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. I'm going to be using a bolster in this practice. You may want a couple of blocks or a couple of blankets. So gather that up and come meet me on the mat to get fired up in a good way. We're also going to be getting into your low back, your hamstrings, a little bit of your hips. To begin with, I'd like you to take the upper arms against your body, not tightly, just holding it there. And elbows bend, forearms are parallel to the floor, and palms face up. If it feels safe to do so once you're in this position, you can go ahead and close down your eyes. And just begin to notice any sounds around you, near or far. Notice the temperature of the room or outside if you're lucky enough to practice out there. Maybe the clothing touching your skin. Give yourself thanks for taking this time just for yourself. Now imagine healing golden light going into your heart center, down through your arms, out through your hands, letting go of any negative thoughts, maybe any anxiety, maybe you're experiencing. How am I going to get this all done? I'm feeling overwhelmed. Just let it go out into the universe and trust that the universe has your back. And an option to turn your palms down so that they're facing the floor. Again, just letting go, letting go, letting go. With the energy of the summer, help you to balance to release and recharge. That was from somebody on them. Couple more breaths here. And just let that go. Go ahead and grab your blocks, turn towards the short end of your mat. Grab a bolster like I'm going to. Put it horizontally across your mat. Place your palms onto, <clears throat> excuse me, onto your blocks, your bolster, and step your left foot forward. You may need to readjust your props. Coming into dragon pose. I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. And right about now, there should be a little tutorial that pops up on your screen, all about different variations of dragon pose. Maybe you look like to come down to dragon flying low, taking your elbows onto the bolster or the blocks. Maybe you stay right where you are. Choose the right edge for you today.
Mm, that's a couple of refs here. And then slowly begin to press your hips back. And then heel toe that front leg across, coming into swamp pose. Or you'll see a tutorial for different variations of swamp pose. You can take this just laying on your back with the left foot across your right knee. Maybe pulling that in towards your body. Maybe sitting up that way. And you can also be completely laying on your back. You can even do this at the wall. I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. If you find that the hip of your bent leg is like really, really far away from the floor, you may want to put a rolled up blanket underneath. You may want to do that underneath the thigh of your leg that is extended straight back. Just we're looking to find our edge, but we're not looking to make it so uncomfortable that we can't stay here for three minutes and let go. Check in with your breath. What's it telling you? Is it smooth and deep or shallow and choppy? And what does that mean when you notice that? Where do you feel it coming into your body? Where do you feel it going into in your body? And the last couple of breaths here. And then once again, slowly rock over onto that bent knee side. Bring that leg back. Come up into a tabletop position. And just pause for a moment. Take stock. Curl your toes under. You can also stay right here if that feels right in your body. Otherwise, you can press into your toes, bring your hips back and your head between your arms. And just a brief pause and down dog. Maybe you need to walk your dog. And then gently allow your knees to kiss your mat. And let's take second side. Step the opposite foot forward for our dragon pose. Maybe reach the leg that is stretching out towards the short end of the mat and back a little bit more, or maybe not. Allow those shoulders to melt down your back. Release any tension 
in your face, your jaw, your shoulders. You feel your body beginning to release a little deeper into the pose, or maybe you don't. Maybe you come down onto your forearms, and maybe you don't. No variation is better than the other. It's much more about our time in the pose than how deeply we go into the pose. Allowing that body to soften, release, Putting it under good stress, so you come back even stronger. Last couple of breaths here. And begin to move that front foot over towards the side. Come into whatever variation of swan pose feels right on this side. I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. Can you release your breath a little bit more so it's moving deeper and deeper into your lungs? Can you balance your breath between your belly and your chest?
Last couple of breaths here. And then slowly begin to rock over onto the front hip. And bring that leg back, back up into tabletop position. Take a deep breath here, maybe side out. Rolling the toes under and pushing back into downward facing dog. Notice the sensations in your body. Last breath here. As you exhale, gently allow your knees to kiss the mat again. Go ahead and bring your forearms onto the mat, onto the bolster, and slowly take it back towards your body, allowing your chest to rest onto, partially onto your bolster. This can be done on the mat as well. Just having your forearms on the mat. And Sphinx pose. Notice where you're contracting muscles. See if you can allow them to soften, relax away from the bones. Your only job here is to stay in this pose in stillness, allowing those longer holds of yin yoga to do their magic work in your body. Balance out the yang and the yin. Summer is yang energy. It is, in fact, the most yang energy of the seasons. And sometimes we get a little bit carried away with the longer days and the sunlight. And we forget that we need that yin. Just like the sun needs the moon. Last couple of breaths here. If you have a support under chest, go ahead and move it off to the side. And then come on down. Elbows come away from your body, so they're pointing towards the long end of the mat on either side. <clears throat> Head can come down on top of stacked hands. Notice the energy flowing through your body. Does it feel recharged? Does it feel like it's flowing and not stagnating somewhere? Okay. 
And last breath here. And then rock over to one hip. Grab your bolster if you have it. Maybe a pillow if you don't have a bolster. Move this over to the side so you can see what I'm doing. And go ahead and take the soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to fall out from either side. And slowly come back down onto your back. And if you have a bolster, go ahead and grab that and place it vertically on your body, allowing it to help you deeply ground. And if you have a couple of blocks handy, they might feel very nice underneath your upper thighs. I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. Take any little movements you need in the beginning of this pose to let you completely let go and release. Notice how the weight of that bolster allows you to really get grounded. Get balanced. Feel secure. Last couple of breaths here. And gently place that bolster off to the side. You're not done with it yet, potentially. And go ahead and take your hand, your feet to the mat. Knees are bent up towards the sky. 
a few breaths here. Maybe put your hands on your heart. Notice the beat of your heart underneath your hand. Let go and bend one knee in towards your chest or sort of towards your shoulder. Reach for where you can grab, and that may be your foot, it may be your ankle, it may be your shin. And perhaps you need to go ahead and grab a strap and then bend the other knee in towards your chest and shoulder. And take your feet so that they are parallel to the ceiling. And feet are slightly flexed. Happy baby. If none of those variations work for you, you can also take half happy baby where you have either one foot with a bent knee or one foot straight along the mat. I'll let you know when to switch. I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. And if you're in half happy baby, go ahead and gently transition to the other leg. Notice your breath now. Do you notice anything different from when you began this practice? Maybe you're beginning to hear gurgling from your stomach, which is a good sign in yin yoga. And you're switching on your friend and digest system. Last couple of breaths here. And release one foot. Allow it to slowly float on down to your mat. And release the other foot. Allow it to also float on down to your mat. And just take a pause here and notice how energy is flowing in your body now.
Last breath here. Deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose or your mouth. And then gently come on over to your side if you're using a bolster. Go ahead and grab that. Bring the bolster about two-thirds of the way or one-third down from the top of your mat. You can also take grab a couple blocks and put one or two together across your mat. Go ahead and lay down so that your heart center is on the bolster. You may need to put a pillow or a block underneath your head. Play around a little bit with your hand position. I'm going to say that for me is just a little, little too much. <laughs> Oops. So I'm going to put a little pillow behind there so I'm not bothering my neck. Go ahead and take your hands to your heart. A few deep breaths. If you'd like, you can go ahead and give yourself a hug and maybe just move a little bit back and forth. Now, if you've been with me for any time or if you've practiced in before, you know that in general, we don't move in yin yoga. But sometimes we can get a really nice release when we do and settle into stillness. If that neck feels uncomfortable, you can always take a pillow like I have. You can take a block, find the appropriate height for you. It's okay to feel uncomfortable in yin yoga. Discomfort is part of yin yoga. But it's not always okay to feel a lot of discomfort in your neck. Enjoy this hug. It may be the only hug you get today. And then go ahead and let that go. In your own way, in your own time, begin to come into your Shavasana, however that may look for you. On your back, on your stomach, on your side, it's all good. Perhaps bring your attention back to the intention you set at the beginning of this practice. And I offered strengthening our low back, our hips, our hamstrings. Letting this energy of summer balance us, allowing us to release excess energy, recharge. 
And also the affirmation, I am capable of handling whatever comes my way. As you settle into your Shavasana, if it's safe for you to do so, please close your eyes. If not, allow them to become slightly unfocused. Taking your attention deeply in. Let's do a body scan, starting with our feet, just checking in with our body. Your feet. Your ankles. Your lower legs. Your knees. Your upper legs. Your hips. Whole pelvis area. Your navel center. Your heart center. Your right chest. And right shoulder. Right upper arm. Right elbow. Right lower arm. Right wrist. And right hand. Whole right arm. Right chest. Heart center. Left chest. Left shoulder. Left upper arm. Left elbow. Left lower arm. Left wrist. And left hand. And the whole left arm. Tension to your spine. Your sacrum. Through your ribcage. Through your upper back, your neck, and throat center. Your mouth. Your nose. Both eyes. Your third eye. The crown of your head. And let yourself completely let go and release in Shavasana until you hear me speak again.
invitation to stay just as you are for as long as you'd like. But if you're moving on, with your eyes still gently closed as they are, allow your breath to deepen. You're just rising on the inhale, coming back down on the exhale. Feel your ribs spread across your mat. Notice everywhere that the earth is creating on you. The back of your head. Your shoulder blades. Your glutes. Back of the heels. And then to take any little movements you need to come back into this moment. in your own way, on your own time. Bring yourself back into an upright, easy seated position. On your next inhale, take the palms of the hands together and begin to rub your hands back and forth. Can you feel the heat of summer building up between your hands? And then just place them over your face, completely covering your eyes. Take a few deep breaths here. Begin to, <clears throat> begin to blink your eyes open with your hands still over them. And very slowly, allow your hands to come down your face, down your throat, down your heart center, and all the way down to your thighs. Go ahead and give gratitude, showing up for yourself, taking self-care today, taking that time to transition between spring and into summer. Strengthening a lot of your systems so you can have a smooth transition. Telling yourself you are capable of whatever comes your way. May you be healthy. May you be happy. May you be free from pain and suffering. May you feel balanced through all the seasons of your life. Thank you so much for joining me today. just wanted to touch briefly on the quote that I started this practice with. Let the energy of the summer help you to balance, to release, to recharge. I hope you enjoyed this summer solstice practice. I hope you feel that you've released some energy that needed to be released, help you feel a little more balanced, a little more recharged perhaps. If you enjoyed this practice, please click the like button so I can bring free yin yoga to more people. And if you'd like to practice with me again, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful summer and a wonderful rest of your day.